Hey everyone, I went ahead and uh, got a aerator. Try to zoom in here a little bit. I'm going to use this on the back of my zero turn. Here's some of the specs. I got this off of uh, Amazon. And I'll go ahead and open the box and lay everything out for assembly. Instructions manual. All right, so this is the uh, Brindley made aerator, and it's a 48 inch. Uh, so that works really nicely with my zero turn as far as the width. The, the tires are plastic on the inside, but it's got a nice rubber. It, it's, it looks beefy enough to handle. And just by the way, this the gauge of this steel is pretty impressive. These brackets are pretty thick. So, so far I'm pretty impressed with it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, break out the instructions and start assembly. Okay, everything's laid out, ready for assembly. These are the tools you need. Ratchet with uh, 7 16th, 7 16th uh, wrench, 9 16th wrench, pair of pliers, a 1 half inch, and a 9 16th inch. And then again, these are the parts all laid out. So start putting that together, step one. Okay, the first. Part of it is putting on the side plates. I got this first side on. I need to tighten up the bolts. And I'll go ahead and put on the other side and, and tighten them up. Now the next part is to put these angle brackets, connect them to the tow bar, which are these two pieces right here. Go ahead and do that now. Okay, I just put on the center plate and all of these bolts here under here are not are not tightened and these bolts are not tightened yet. Okay, I've attached the tow bar to the tray and I attached the clevis to the tow bars and all the bolts and uh, nuts are not tightened fully yet. Okay, I've tightened everything up. I put in the uh, uh, clevis pin and pulled forward really tight so that everything lined up and then tightened everything up all the way underneath and on top of the tray. So everything's tightened. Now I guess I'm going on to the, uh, the actual aerator tangs. Hey everyone, uh, it's on Sunday and I took a little break here. I'm gonna continue to build this aerator. Uh, we just had her, uh, a tropical storm Ophelia come through, so there's a lot of rain dumped. So the ground is really soft, perfect conditions to uh, do some aeration, but first I need to uh, mow the grass, pick up the uh, grass clippings so that the grass seed can get down in there next to the soil. So I'll finish the aerator and then uh, we'll get set up and uh, get ready for that. And I'll take you through that process to see how well this aerator does. So stand by. Okay, the next part is taking this wheel or the, the aerator uh, shaft and take a washer and a bolt it's 
It's got a line up here, which it doesn't. Wait, there it is. Okay. And the nut. And then tighten. So I've got to do that all the way around here. So stand by. Okay. There it is. See, you can see that they're alternating. The, the uh, plugger spoons are alternating. And I, the lock nuts are securing it really well. So it looks like it'll do well. I guess these holes are to help flush out any dirt that gets caught in there. But these look like they may work. Okay, I'll do the rest of the other two. And we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so I've got all of these spoons attached to the plates. The next, next thing to do is to take the, um, the axle and starting from this end, first I put a machinery bushing in. At least I thought that was how that's supposed to fit. Oh, here we go. These are a different washer. Here's the machinery bushings. <clears throat> Put one all the way through. Start at this end. And the diagram says to have this part, the bearing, once I get it through, put the bearing on. And then put this through. The next part is another bearing, another machinery bushing. Let me just, I'm going to lay these out. So there's one, two, three, four machinery bushings. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay. All right. There we go. Machinery bushing. Bearing. And these are all oriented the right way according to the diagram. Machinery bushing. Put 
put the bearings in and the last machinery bushing. Okay. There we go. Okay, I'm going to double check everything. I'll go ahead and uh, double check everything before I uh, proceed. <laughs> okay, this is the lift lever assembly. What we want to do is line up this welded assembly here, put in this hex bolt. Let me let me mess with that and I'll get back with you. <laughs> yeah, I had to use a screwdriver to kind of line up the hole here, but I got it just to get this lock nut on it. Okay, there we go. And this little boot goes over it for comfort. What, what you do is you just take this big hex bolt, put it through the wheel with a washer, another washer, and then a hex bolt, hex nut, and just enough that you can spin it and then I need to attach it to here with a lock washer and another hex nut. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, I just used pliers to hold that end, adjustable pliers, and tightened it up against the lock nut, and the wheels are spinning. I like how, how wide these wheels are. Okay, I'll do on the other side. Okay, the offset in the wheel needs to face toward the aerator. So we have the bolt, the washer, put through the wheel. We have another washer. We have the hex nut as far down as we can and have it still rotate freely. I want to get it a little bit tighter. Ugh. Doesn't want to move. Okay. Then put it through with a, with a lock nut. And another hex bolt, or yeah, hex nut. Try to get this a little tighter. Travels freely. Okay. Looks good. Okay, this uh, will be installing the transport pin to the lift lever assembly with a nylock nut. Okay, so I guess what this has to do is like that. That's for traveling. Well, not traveling, the wheels 
will come forward. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it for the assembly. There is no other pin that goes into the side while you're doing the aerating. It just kind of just sits there. Um, so I'll go ahead and cut the grass just to pick up all the, it, it's a little too long, I think, to aerate. So I'll go ahead and cut the grass and do the aerating. Now, it looks like I can fit five um, cinder blocks, normal size cinder blocks, according to the instructions. So that's what I'll do when I empty the grass clippings up on the pasture, I'll grab some cinder blocks. All right, stay tuned. Okay, uh, here it is. Take the cotter pin out and the hitch pin. And this hitch pin's nice, it fits. So I was kind of worried about that. Go ahead and hook it up here. It's in travel mode. Right now. Okay. I'm going to get a pad. I have these rubber pads that I had from some packing material, so I'm going to put that down. Yeah, so I put this rubber stuff here. I guess you could put a towel, an old old towel, beach towel or something. Again, that's 48 inches. Let's see if these fit. Perfect. I'm not sure they're all fit though, because they're all different sizes. So far. Oh, it looks like it'll sit, it'll accommodate six of them. I'm gonna see if I can find another one real quick. All right. There we go. Six of them. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this, carrying that cinder block winded me a bit. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this in the backyard, get that done, and then seed it so that the dogs can get out. Uh, it's their feeding time and they need to get outside. So uh, I'll go ahead and film a couple passes and hopefully you can see how this performs. Hopefully it does perform, we'll find out.
Hey folks, let's let's go ahead and look at this, see how we did here. So we're getting good plugs. Getting plugs all over. Really want to tear this up so that the seed will have somewhere to purchase and contact the ground so I think I'll just need to do a lot of passes but I'm convinced this works nice plugs all the way around I gotta be careful <laughs> gotta be careful around my uh, septic system here but yeah uh, what I'll what I'll probably do is uh, you know do up and down back and forth perpendicular to that and then I'll probably do like a circular to finish it off just so I can get really good Ooh, dang it we have a problem we have a problem it's bent all right it must have been I hit the fence all right let me see what I can do to fix that all right, update. I went ahead and bent this out a little better. Probably needs a little bit more. It's still canted a bit, but I think it'll still work. The tang spin. I used this persuader <laughs> along with uh, just wedging it in between the metal in between the cinder blocks. So I'll go ahead and set this up again. Okay, a um, little mishap there, but I was able to recover. Uh, the, the wheel is not exactly perfectly straight, but it just canted a bit. The toe is a little bit bent, but uh, uh, I'm not too worried about that. That's just for transport, so it, I think it'll work fine. Um, the, the lesson there is don't get close to anything. <laughs> Don't get close to any fence posts or anything like that. So I'll just try to be as conservative and slow and easy as I can. And I'll just continue to do this. So uh, hopefully this gave you an idea of how this uh, setup works. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, finish this video. Um, I'm just going to finish the rest of this aerating. I'm, I'm going to use uh, the Lowe's. Pennington, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you what kind of grass seed standby. Okay, yeah, so the grass seed I'm using is from Lowe's. It's tall fescue for overseeding, and it's, I got 80 pounds. I'm going to use basically one bag for the front, one bag for the back, but this seems to have worked really well so far. I've been really pleased with the uh, results of this, so... All right, um, still more work to do, but I'll let you go and end this video signing out.